We'll do it in English. She's Daniela Patti. She's from Rome. I'm from Budapest. Um, so we work mostly in English. Um, this uh, evening we'll speak about one specific project that we started a few months ago. It's a magazine that is called uh, The Cooperative City. You can find it on uh, cooperativecity.org. And we have two reasons why we started to work on this. One is that we travel a lot, we meet a lot of interesting people, we get a lot of good content, and we wanted to share all this content in a way. The other thing is that we work in different domains, like this is a workshop we did here in Cake uh, last year uh, with a lot of NGOs from all across Europe who are experimenting with new economic models for uh, community spaces. This is another situation, we work on a on an inter-municipality cooperation uh, focusing on how to use social media for better urban governance. So this is all people from municipalities, there was all NGOs uh, from across Europe. And we also uh, work increasingly in the context of EU institutions. Here we are with some people from the Committee of the Regions uh, and some, some other EU institutions. And what we realized in this whole process is that uh, there's very little connection between all this. So uh, one of the objectives of this magazine is to, to make visible these different positions and also to show uh, some of the funding bodies and decision makers on the European level that what is actually happening on the ground because we find that many of these institutions are very, very, very far from <coughs> actually European societies. What is uh, happening on the website? So you can visit, but just a little brief uh, overview. So we have a lot of texts, interviews and articles. We have a lot of audio materials. We love recording. We record a lot of things and we uh, post-produce, we do podcasts. We have a lot of videos, which is of course a more complicated thing, especially when we travel and we have to uh, involve local people that we don't necessarily know, local video makers, so that might actually delay a bit. Uh, so some of the videos we finished one year after the actual event we, we made. And we organize also thematically uh, the articles. For example, we work a lot on markets. In Rome, we had a, a series of regeneration projects with the food markets. And in these processes, we learned and exchanged a lot from with markets in other places. And this kind of database of good practices is very useful when we speak with, with municipalities or with other actors who are looking into how to, how to revitalize their markets or in other projects. And also uh, another feature of the website is a map which helps you to find uh, places according to the cities. So if you're in a city you can actually visit a lot of good practices. And one of the most important things in this whole process is that we don't only share uh, information and data but we try to start processes with this website. So some of, some of the organizations we feature we work very closely with. One example for example it's a very interesting uh, project in uh, Lisbon. It's a, it's a cooperative hostel, hotel that is uh, giving jobs to a loco lot of uh, local people and we do promote them a lot internationally so we bring them, we brought them here as well uh, to Budapest and in exchange they invite us to help with their long-term strategy how to survive uh, the big transformations of the neighborhoods and I think it's time to... And Daniela. this, what we do is we organize a series of events for example this is in Rome, how many of you have been to Rome? Okay, so you all saw the Colosseum but maybe you've also been outside of the very historical center and this, for example, is in one, one of the areas where one of the local communities are trying to take over this abandoned place. And we help them bring, getting in contact with uh, foundations dealing with ethical finance, uh, crowdfunding platforms, and trying to think whether it's possible for a community to buy a space. I must say it's not looking amazing right now, but this is what we do. You are invited to watch a video, a podcast, or read an article. Uh, this is, for example, in Rotterdam, a fantastic cooperative. They are, um, they are a cooperative in one of the peripheral neighborhoods with a lot of multi-ethnical uh, population, and they organize a series of, here you see the ladies that are working in the, in the kitchen cooperative that does a series of, uh, of uh, catering services, but they also have sewing and so on. And what we try to do also through the magazine is to bring, this is Annette from the cooperative, to bring them also to events with EU institutions and because there's so much discussion about the city and we have to, you know, invest on our cities, but do we know exactly how our cities work? Do we know who is actually making the cities? We've seen so many presentations today about how many things are being done and it's really, really important to be able to, to bring these things together. This, for example, is what is being done in Lisbon. Lisbon has the city, a very progressive city council and they have a, a 
program for, a, let's say, a sort of kickoff, a startup for social enterprises. And here, for example, what we did is we organized a sort of a peer review process. So we tried to bring different people with different expertise to Lisbon. And these are the people that are working in the city council and in the different NGOs that are working together and trying to think on how to improve better the, the process. So these are the things we've only just started. It's the beginning. We're trying to put all these things together. We organized and some faces I know that were also there in the workshop last year. We organized a series of workshops looking into the economic models of civic spaces. And this in Budapest right now, with what is happening in Musi, with what happened in Aurora, is definitely a very, very pressing issue. And we are coming with a book out next week. Haha. <laughs> so uh, we will be also uh, presenting the book also uh, on the 11th of October. So you're very welcome to come or view. It will all be for free. Uh, in both in paper and downloadable PDF, so you're welcome to uh, to uh, take a look and read, because we think that these type of experiences are important to share. We will be anyway touring around Europe with the book, so in case you shouldn't manage to make it on the 11th of October, you're very welcome to join us somewhere else in Europe. Um, but the thing that is the most important for us, and we would really like to use the opportunity of being with you this evening, is the fact of, of understanding whether you would like to share with us the experiences that you're working with. Is there, are you involved? Is anybody here involved in a, some community project or in some project that deals with different type of uh, stakeholders working together? In collaborative, cooperative processes? I see somebody's a bit tentative, some hands up. Well, we invite you to share your story in whatever format you feel the most comfortable. Whether it's you send us an article, whether it's you want to sh do a short, uh, video or an audio podcast that could go into um, into the magazine, we would be very, very help, very happy to think with you about how to put it, uh, to bring it to a, a bigger visibility and try to help you in your project. So I think at this point, we are, thank you so much also in the closing of the evening also for listening and also being patient with the English. I'm afraid, unfortunately, my Hungarian class there is that still. I think we were the last obstacle between you and the party. So now it's so time, let's go for a drink. <laughs> and we can continue the discussion more informally. Thank you very much.